Hello, my name is Amy Sanchez and I'm from the Orangetown Recreation Department and I run the Crafty Creations class at 445 on Fridays. Welcome to our virtual recreation online class. So today we're going to make a princess castle and the stuff we're going to need are any size paper towel tubes, little, big, they can be toilet paper tubes too. I have a bunch of different kinds, but if you have a to uh, paper towel tube, we can cut them into different sizes. But you're also going to need either a Kleenex box or a snack box, something that you'll be able to cut a shape into. We're also going to need some paint brushes, like this. This one's wet because I keep a wet cup for all my paint brushes. Some tape, masking tape, whatever tape you can find is perfectly fine. Some kid scissors so your kids can help you. Some adult scissors if something's a little bit too hard. We're going to need paint, whatever color paint your child wants to paint. So if you got white paint, go with white. Add a little food coloring to it and you can make it any color you want. Some glue and a marker. And I use um, pizza boxes. I have them here. These are just the tops of pizza boxes. I love them. They're the greatest thing in the whole wide world. Or some extra cardboard. This is actually from the sides of the pizza box, but you could also, if you have a leftover Christmas present box that you have around, you can cut that up too. It all works well. So the first thing I'm going to say about this principle is please use your imagination. It's a lot of fun for the kids. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is the one I made. And I used a Kleenex box up here. And let's see, one, two, three, four. I used about five paper towel tubes and I just cut them to the length I wanted them. I also found some cups lying around. I used those for the top of the castle, kind of like Disney. And then um, this is tissue paper that I crumpled up for the grass, but you could also, you know, I have some regular all different colored paper here. You could do the same with that. And then this rock, I printed off the internet and you can just have your child color it whatever color they choose because it will come out white and whatever color you want. And this right here is just a pizza box that I cut. So the first thing we're going to do to, I'll put that here. The first thing that we need to do for this is get our paper towel tubes together and figure out what we want to use. If you want to use your, I'm just going to get a clean one. You can always reuse your pizza boxes. As you can see, this has just got paint on it, but if I'm going to put my castle on something, this is just a clean piece of cardboard. So you got to start with whatever you have in the house. Please do not think that you have to have any of these things, whatever works for you guys. I also wanted to show you, I have a breadcrumb thing. If you want to use that, that could be the center of your, your castle too. But right now, I'm just going to use a Rice Krispie Treat box. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw and cut a hole in it where you want your castle entrance to be. Okay, so all I did, I'm just going to take this off and let me show you. I just took a marker and I just drew a line around it and just took scissors and cut it. And then I'm just going to remove it. And then you figure out how many paper towel tubes you want. So in the one I have right here, like I said, I have three big tubes and then I have probably two other tubes that I just cut into different shapes to go around it. So this one is a little bit longer, more rectangular. So I already have some here. So you just stretch it out the way you want it. So if, I, if you want three in the back, as you can see, this one right here, I've already cut to have the little castle imprints on it. So that's the first thing you want to do. And here's this one. I just made three rectangles around and left room in between them. And then, if you want some that are smaller than the original one, 
you're just going to cut it to whatever size you want. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off right down the side. And maybe I'll put this one here, and then I'll have this one here, and have one here next to the door. And maybe I need one more. So I could put another little one right there. So what we're going to do now is you're going to draw on them, and you're going to cut out all the little the cuts that you made, all the little drawings you made, so that you can have the tops of your castle tubes, just like this. So then, once they're all cut out, what you want to do, I'm just going to take all this away, you want to paint them. So once we finish all of our paper towel tubes, we will attach it to our cardboard. And as you can see, I've added a little decoration, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So the castle um, attachment, what we do with that is you're going to take <clears throat> another piece of cardboard. This is just an extra piece from the leftover pizza box. And measure out how much you need and then make a little, like this one is about here. So I can use scissors and cut that like that. And then I can trace it out. I made one out of paper first and then I traced it out. And then you'll trace it out on, on the cardboard like that. And then you'll cut it. And you're going to go all the way around. So here on the sides and in the back. And then you can just take some glue and attach it. So for this one, and you're going to paint it too. You're going to paint it the same color. Or if you want, you can paint it a different color. It doesn't matter. And you'll just attach it to the back like that with some glue. And then you'll do the other sides. So then and just squish it in like that. But once again, it will get painted. And then what you're going to do, now this is something I found on the internet. It's just a uh, gravel. And I cut it out and I fit it for the walkway up into the castle. You do not have to do this. You could put sand down. You could crush up seashells. You could just paint your box. Anything you want. Use your imagination. Just because I did it this way does not mean you have to do it this way. The other thing on this one here, as you can see, I have some cones. And I also have little hearts. You can use stickers for that. But I do, have, I do have some cones, and you can just attach them to the top. You can just take a little bit of glue, go around. This one doesn't work right now. It happens. Just go inside of your cup, generous amount, and then you're just going to put it right on. And then you can add all three of them. And these are just, just regular drinking cups. If you don't have these, just look around your house and you can use whatever you want. The last thing to remember, oh, I did put stripes on here. And you can just use whatever kind of piece of paper. You're going to go lengthwise straight down, however you like it. Or if you have stickers at home, you can just plop stickers on it. And that works too. The last thing you're going to do is decide what you want to do. You can cut your box any way you want in a circle and you could add grass. This is with tissue paper and you just roll it up. I made a couple right here and you would just add a little bit of glue and attach these all over the board if you want. If you didn't want to do this, you could just paint, you could just paint this green and you wouldn't have to, to do that. You could just paint the whole box green. Or you could cut the box really close to all of this and then this would be it and you can just start playing with it. You can do this any way you want. You do not have to do it like this. I'm gonna show you one more. This one is very simple. I did this at, um, with some kids. This is my frozen castle. All you needed to do with this is three paper towel tubes and then we just painted it. Once again I had the cups but I'm just trying to show you a different way you can do it. You can make it as simple as you want 
or you can go crazy. And then on the bottom here is just some um, cotton balls that I had the kids come up. And we also added some glitter to this. So if you wanted to put glitter on the bottom of your castle, you're welcome to do that too. Use your imagination, see what you have in the house. Whatever you have, it will work. You don't have to use what I'm using. Just make, do what you can do to make it as fun with your kids as you can. These videos are posted on the Orangetown Parks and Recreation Facebook page. We'd love to hear you and have your feedback. We hope that you and your families are staying home and staying healthy by following the recommendations of the state, county, and local officials as well as the CDC. These are unprecedented times for all of us. Please remember that each of us plays an important role in keeping us all safe. Be well and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!